Hi, and welcome to our introduction to tactical soccer. This part looks at player orders. Player orders allows you to give commands to your players that are carried out every turn. You don't have to use player orders to play tactical soccer, but it might save you some time during your turn. You can display the player orders screen by either pressing the order button on the formation panel or by pressing the V key on the keyboard. With player orders, you can set what the player should do if the team are defending and also set a different order if they are attacking. Let's say that during a game, you notice that the opposing team's player 19 is the one that is controlling their attack. Perhaps it would be a good idea for one of your midfielders to mark him closely. Here's how to set that up using player orders. Press V to display the player orders screen. Select the defense button. Select your player eight. Select the man mark order. And finally press the number of the player you wish to mark closely. In this case, 19. Now at the start of every turn, the player will automatically be given movement instructions to follow player 19. You can suspend or activate orders by clicking the player's yes no button on the player orders screen. Player orders will automatically be suspended when play stops, for example when there's a goal kick. Let's go through some more orders. Man mark close works exactly the same as man mark. However, your player will stay even tighter to the player they are marking. Halfway line is very useful if you're defending and you want your attackers to fall back to the halfway line. Your strikers can then act as the first line of defence against the opposition. Halfway line is also useful when you're attacking. You can use it to get your defenders to support the attack by moving up the field. Defend deep is very much like halfway line, but your players stay deep in their own half. This can be very useful if the opposition are good at making quick counter-attacks. Keep in line. I use this to keep my defenders in line, so there's less chance of a defender straggling behind the others and ruining my offside trap. In this example, I have a back four, and I've decided that all the defenders should keep in line with Rogers. So whenever I move Rogers, the other three will follow the next turn. I find follow ball very useful for attacking midfielders. When you're attacking, I set them to follow ball. Then whenever the ball is in front of them, they will keep behind it, keeping up with play. When defending, follow ball works when the ball is behind your play. I use this so my midfield players don't get too detached from defence. Support player. In this example, I want three of my players to support my leading striker, Atwell. The first will support Atwell on the left. I want another one to support him just behind. And the final one to support him on the right. Now, whenever Atwell moves, the other three players will move to support him. Giving a player the wing attack order means they will move out to the wing and when the ball is in front of them, follow it. In this example, Malcolm on the wing will wait for the ball to go past him and then start following. This concludes the fifth part of the introduction to tactical soccer, the new season.